So this is Shadow Tech here with another video, and today it's a little bit of a different type of video, and it's about my top five favorite gadgets slash phones slash basically any tech. So there are basically no requirements for this list other than I like the product. Some of these things I don't actually, or m all of these things except one or two, I don't actually have the product, but what I've read about it and watched videos about it, I think that it's pretty cool. So I'm going to count down from my fifth favorite to my favorite. So make sure to stick around to the end, because the last one is really, really cool. Or at least that's what I think. Okay, so the first one is the bump -ba -da -dump, the AirTag. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have heard about this because of the Apple effect, and everybody knows Apple and the AirTag. But for all of those who don't know, it's a small disc-shaped item about the size of a quarter that you can track any item you attach it to. The keychain comes separately, so the $30 price point is a bit misleading because you also need to buy a keychain to, if you want to attach it to anything. So you might think Apple was the first one to do this, but again, <coughs> there are lots of companies that made tracking devices before Apple, but one of the most notable ones was Tile. Of course, at, until Apple came along. Most of this stuff is similar between the Tile and the AirTag, but basically all you need to know is that Tile has more variation and is better for Android, and the AirTag is better for iOS, which for those of you who, f who forgot is the operating system that iPhones and iPads on. So are on. So I think that the main reason that the AirTag was so cool is because it made waves because of the Apple effect. Whenever Apple comes out with something, the rest of the market follows. Like when Apple started saving the environment, quotations, by, by not including a phone charger, other brands made fun of them. And uh, like Xiaomi and Samsung put out tweets like, Apple is Apple is being bad to you uh, by not including the charger, but don't worry, we're still here and we're good. But later, now, they've also stopped including the phone charger. So that's the Apple effect. Like, maybe Samsung will come out with a tracker. What I think would be really cool for an AirTag commercial is, uh, what's it called again? Is uh, if, if there was, like, a James Bond movie where, like, they used the AirTag and, like, slipped it on the bottom of a truck. <laughs> That would be pretty cool, but for some reason I don't see that happening. So the next thing is also an iP is also an Apple product. It's the iPad Mini. I really like the iPad Mini, especially with this generation. I think Apple took it to the next level. Before it was a pretty cool iPad. It's just a smaller iPad with also a smaller price tag. But with the, but with the iPad Mini, uh, it's it's what's it called it? It's in, it's in the smaller iPad Pro instead of like a smaller iPad Air. It also has a smaller price of $500 instead of the eensy weensy teensy but expensive iPad Pro at $1,200. I like the iPad Mini because it's just barely large enough that you can semi-comfortably type and play games. Better than you would be able to on an, on an iPhone. But also, it's half the price of an iPhone and iPad Pro. Okay. Also, I was going to make a video about why I love the iPad Mini, but uh, I just couldn't find enough material. But if you want to see that, comment it. Uh, I want to know what you guys want me to to what's called the end talk about. Next is the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So I've talked about before the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is a foldable. So if you so you can have a pocketable pocketable phone, but also you can watch your favorite TV shows and movies on. Or well, I guess you can also watch it on a regular phone. But on the Z Fold, you can watch it with a bigger screen. Which for a lot of people they don't really care, but a lot of people also do care. Of course, it has the top-of-the-line specs, like a 120Hz refresh rate and all those bells and whistles. Of course, the biggest bell, bell and whistle is, uh, the, is the folding technology, which I think is really cool. But the folding technology is topped by another phone, in my opinion. I was going to include this uh, by f in first place because of the folding technology, but then I realized that it was too much like the Z Fold 3. So I, I'm just including it with, in the D section. Kind of think of it as a bonus, uh, as a bonus thing. Um, so this is called the Oppo Find N, and it has like a and it has like a little uh, uh, teardrop uh, teardrop fold instead of just folding. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, hopefully future me will put this on. Um, so also like a little thing about Oppo and uh, Oppo, like that they're the creators of the Oppo Find N and another company called OnePlus. So uh, OnePlus and Oppo, they're under the same parent company. Okay, uh, at the moment, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll insert a, uh, a picture of the company, the parent company. So basically, when Oppo creates something, they usually come first, and then OnePlus creates something, like, kind of the, of the same caliber. Like, let's say, oh, this is Oppo's first uh, 120 hertz screen. OnePlus will also make a 120 hertz screen. 
But the thing is, since uh, since they're under the parent, it's the same parent company, OnePlus can it has the same tech, so they can uh, take that tech and put it in for cheaper. And so, yeah, so Oppo has been kind of losing. So maybe soon we'll see uh, OnePlus foldable with the same teardrop tech. So the next thing was announced at the CES, at CES, aka the Consumer Electronics Show, and it's called the Solar Silver Mode, and it does exactly what it says it does. The ultimate laser, as I like to put it, ultra, uh, ultra efficient, because aren't they the same thing? It, making it so you don't have to change your remote batteries once every three years, because nobody likes doing that once every three years, because we really should be putting that time to good use. Right about now, you may be thinking, hey, Shadow, where can I get one of these? And I think right, and I think right now, since it was announced so recently, you can't, you won't be able to get one of these. Uh, you won't be able to get one of these. Um. So, yeah, you may also be thinking, who goes outside? Or, well, I'm outside right now, but whatever. Going outside is for uh, people who go outside. To that, I say, did you really not know that solar, uh, that things can be solar powered from stuff like lamps and other stuff? <laughs> Personally, I think that this is really cool, and uh, I'll be picking up if I uh, ever, ever decide to stand up off of this uh, very comfortable chair. Uh, so now on to the super awesome, cool, amazing, extraordinary, astounding. The next gadget is something that you've probably never heard of, but make sure to stick around because uh, even though you probably haven't heard of it, it's really, really cool. It's called the Perlmutter, named after the famous astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter. It, it, it kind of sounds boring at first, but it's really cool. She also won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011, Saul Perlmutter. This is a super gadget, and do you want me to tell you why? <laughs> because it's a super computer. Ha ha, pretty funny, right? Okay, so seriously, this is a really super computer. The main feat is that, it, that makes it so cool is right now, and it's making a 3D map of the known universe. Yep. All 11 billion light years. Is it? That's like a massive amount of. Uh, that's like a, a massive amount of space. If, if you're like not familiar with space, so like it's it's really cool. Like the amount of space that that is. Yeah, it's like so such a large space. 11 billion light years. <laughs> it would be hard to imagine how many kilometers that is, or miles, whatever. Uh, so so uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, that's that's like really really cool. I think. So, uh, that's really cool. And do you want to know what else would be really cool? Subscribing and liking the video. Also, remember to dislike this video if you didn't like it, because I want to know what you guys like watching. But also click the like button if you do like it. So thanks so much if you made it to this point, and have a good night and shadow out.